I just feel like you know love is love God has made us with the same thread and it is not upon us to have biases and form judgment on what somebody's life deserves to be I would look at Priyanka Chopra I would be like look at her I would draw so much strength and inspiration from her because you know she also stood out for her uh, for her acting chops that's bullshit i'm tell you this notion is also made by some man back in the day who got very insecure that if two women become friends they are going to really take over hi this is bhumi pednekar and you're watching e times bhumi welcome to e times my name is jigar shah it's been really long very since long. we last, last since we last met uh what's so my first question to you is uh do you think that your life right now is pretty much resembling a movie because you were a casting director you got a lucky chance with aditya chopra with dam laga ke haisha now you've i don't know done like some 7 8 9 10 odd films and each one has hit a, a mark which has given you respect and credibility in the industry so do you think i'm living a movie ah uh, i think i'm definitely living my dream you know uh, i mean honestly everything that you've every milestone that you spoke of is definitely a dream come true i could never imagine that you know i would be a yashraj heroine or i could never imagine that um you know i would uh, be sitting here today with three black ladies three filmfare awards at home or you know i would get the kind of scripts that have come my way or the accolades that have come my way so i do wake up every day pinching myself and then realize that okay now that i have this what's next uh so i'm full of gratitude and i'm very very grateful to the audiences to my supporters to the filmmakers that kind of saw potential in me and uh, supported the work that i do and you know i keep saying this time and again that i'm only motivated uh by all the love let me coin a phrase for you let me call it the bhumi pedne ka genre now <laughs> because technically you've done films wherein you've defined the genre if you if i if i take bala if i take soncharya if i take uh, pati patni aur wo if i take i don't know like 10 films of yours which i've done and each one is so different i think you can call yourself a genre now i think that's the biggest compliment uh, you know and especially coming from somebody who is a part of the world that i am in uh, thank you so much look i feel like as an actor we all want to create a niche we all want to create a space for ourselves and if i manage to do that then i truly must be doing something correctly <laughs> true true now you know with every film you took a risk because you bring up the first film itself tum laga gaye shad then you went to uh, brown in bala then you went to rural in soncharya then then you went lesbian in uh, badhai do uh, all that risk that you took was it did it come from the fact that oh, in the way of first in the way first film you looked exactly opposite from from a typical heroine i think uh, 100% i think meri first film mein na i'd kind of uh, realize the power that i have and the power i have is not being conventional you know the power i have is that i did not look like many of my contemporaries that existed then and i was like okay as you know you rightly said i i always wanted to create a niche for myself a space for myself and i realized that if i follow this path a path that promises my audiences um good content with entertainment with something that you've not seen before i think i would be able to create a space for myself that is unique to me and uh, that's exactly what i did so you won your last film fair third film fair uh, for badhai do what's the reaction from that community have that you've gotten by now i think a lot of love honestly for me i feel like winning the film fair is a personal victory for me yeah. but the love that badhai do got as a film is a victory for the community because you know that's when you realize that okay india is changing my country is changing and uh, uh, you know my cinema is a part of that change uh, like the films that i've done in the past but hai do is an extremely important film to me it is a film that has a part of my soul attached to it only because i have so many friends from the lgbtqia plus community and uh, the fact that i could represent them in whatever small way that i could makes me makes me feel like okay i have as I, as i've said a couple of times in my interview that i am a part of the solution uh so i really sit here today humbled full of gratitude so motivated to keep like pushing myself and really really praying to god that i get many opportunities like badhai do okay so they are seeking a solution right now about same sex marriage how do you respond to that uh 
I just feel like you know love is love I feel like as individuals uh we should have equality in every aspect um um I feel like God has made us with the same thread and it is not upon us to have biases and form judgment on what somebody's life deserves to be and uh, you know uh, uh, I I have always said that I'm an ally of the community and I stand here full of pride with them which is your your rom-com film which rajiv was talking about ha <laughs> that's a secret which is it that's a secret well this year i'm telling you so basically after afa like three films of mine that would release are films that are very different from what i've done so these are going to be like very new avatars and i'm very excited but i clearly can't There's talk about it this one lady killer that that that, that, that yeah about. lady killer is it's out announced. but yeah. uh, it is this passionate thriller I don't know what to say. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to give any spoilers. Okay. They are very, very important films to me. So you know, one thing I I've understood with your career is that you've always been pally with the female stars of your films. Always. You've just you just killed the notion that oh, actresses always cat fight. Listen, that's bullshit. I'm telling you, this notion is also made by some man back in the day who got very insecure <laughs> that if two women become friends, they are gonna really take over. Hmm. I don't think you can be friends with somebody because of their gender. You're friends yeah. with somebody because of their attributes and their characteristics. And I really feel that you know women support each other because there are certain experiences that only we've been through. True. So you can't disregard that. Yeah. I was I was telling someone that the female washroom is probably the safest place for women. Absolutely. That's such a great thought. You're absolutely right. Have you ever been in a situation where you helped out someone in the in the washroom? Oh my god, so many times, you know, especially when you're at restaurants, it can be something like where you don't have like a sanitary napkin or you don't or you need a makeup product or you know, you are just not feeling well and you have like a stranger who comes and helps you out. Actually, the women's washroom that's such a good thought is a place where you see some real sisterhood. Yeah. You know, it is like amazing because you just have like a bunch of women doing their thing, but if somebody needs something, they always like ready to help. How do you deal with rumors about you? There could be any, and there could be yeah. many. Um, uh, I think. And of all kinds of being, of being part of this film, or, or not, not be part of this film, or she's dating someone, or she's not dating, dating. Yeah, someone. yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, I try my level best not to pay any heed to rumors, uh, especially when they are about my personal life. I think I've been one of the most secretive people about my personal life. But obviously, you know, if you are in the public eye, there will be. things that people assume so you know but it's okay i feel like uh, it is something that uh, comes with being in the public eye but where rumors are concerned i try those rumors not enter into my private space so tell me one film of your filmography which which was a risk which you thought oh this is the biggest risk i've taken or oh after this i don't know what will i get next i think it has to be sand ki aag you know because i mean i think for my for Tapsi who was with me in the film I think for both of us I can say this that you know at such a young age when you're playing a character that is like you know many many decades older uh, I think it's a very big challenge to kind of break that imagery that people get and especially that filmmakers get because I feel like you kind of get stuck in an image but um, uh, and you know also the responsibility of a performance because how do you how do you bring in those many years lived by somebody in your actual performance so for me i feel that was a very big challenge and i was i was i wasn't sure if people would be like able to accept me um, post the film but it, it, it went it, well it went well uh, do you do you think that in a way with your career choices you're creating a path for the next generation to come saying oh, saying that, oh if i can do it y'all can do as well i hope so you know i really really hope so i recently uh met a, a a colleague of mine you know who was recently who started her career a couple of years after me and she actually we, we were in a hotel lobby and she actually came up to me and she told me you know people are like look at her you know if she can do it you can do it too and she that that girl's also known for like you know her work and her talent and i was so flattered and i was like you know this is what i wanted to do right like i would when i would look at pranka chopra i would be like look at her mm. you know I would draw so much strength and inspiration from her because you know she also stood out for her uh, for her acting chops yeah. you know uh, and I would draw so much inspiration from her and if I can be somebody of value in somebody else's life um uh, I feel like I'm on the right track you've also so with your fame you also are using your fame for the right thing like there's this one venture where you're you're into cleaning himalayas that's what what, what yes. you're taking into 
So where does that streak in you come from? I think it inherently is within me since I was a child and I feel that's why subconsciously I've also chosen the films that I've chosen but uh, I feel like it's a great as an as a person who's in a place of power who has a following who's a public figure I have to use my power to give back and my films and my art is that way my digital presence is that way I want to let my followers on whatever other platforms that follow me whether it's cinema whether it's like you know different social media platforms i want to use those platforms for positive impact for positive change and if you specifically speak of like healing himalayas or climate warrior or like you know my collaboration with you and dp i feel like all these have happened because i am a aware global citizen you know i care i'm empathetic and i really want to be a part of the solution you know of, uh, rather than the problem you've up your fashion game you always were <laughs> fashionable but i guess in the last 6 8 months you've really up to your game uh so what what so do you think this, this was the right time for you to explore that side of you or you so what's the what's the, the plan behind it you know there's no plan i feel like you're constantly evolving as human beings and so was i uh I've always loved fashion and beauty but i feel like it was only in the lockdown that i kind of started putting myself out there okay. because i was like you know people don't know the real me mm. they just assume that you know i'm this very intense serious person who's like you know always in a method i am those i am those things when i'm working but apart from that there is a side of my personality that i wanted to put out and beauty and glamour is a very big part of it now with every uh, like even moon has has dark spots in it so there could be chances of of, of someone pointing out oh she's not looking good here she's not looking good there so how do you discard that social chatter Awesome. I feel like you know there are I can't please everyone you know my aesthetic can't please everyone so while there will be people that might appreciate you there might be people that might not enjoy your sense of fashion and who might think like okay this is not my cup of tea but that also happens with our films that happens with every choice that not just me that every individual makes on an everyday basis so I feel like I take criticism as far as it's constructive I take appreciation it helps me become a better version of myself okay. and if criticism and appreciation do not help me become a better version of myself i completely disregard it thank you so much thank you so thank much you.